Okay, so at this point um, I'm just pressing the shoot button to uh, take a photograph of wherever the scope's pointed to at this point in time. And it's just going to take a 20 second uh, image. So it's taken the photograph there, um, you can see some stars. And then we have to click onto the gear tab and point craft. Click on objects and then type in the target. Mine is the Heart Nebula here. So click OK. OK, and then you have to click on solve. And you can see it's solving now. Okay, so the image is solved. In 13 seconds using 395 stars. So now we click sync. And it's going to synchronize to the uh, RA and declination values. And then we can click on objects here at center of position. Click on the heart nebula again, click OK, and then go to plus plus. Uh, so we just got to change the camera to bulb mode. And there's a big spider on it. There we go, bulb mode. So now we can... All right, so now we can click OK and then go to plus plus. So the man is automatically slewing over to the uh, heart nebula and now it's taking an image to see if it's centered in the frame. So it's just doing another plate solve now. And the target's in 62 pixels. So not great. So it's taking another image. That's another 20 second image and it's solving it again. So now the target is in six pixels. So I would say I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so we can close point craft now. We've done the uh, polar alignment and I've just showed you how to do uh, point craft and plate solving out in the field. So uh, the next step is to do uh, PhD2 guiding. So I'm back in the house now and uh, we can click on PhD2 guiding. Connected to the laptop outside, just close that. And uh, let's click on connect to equipment and then connect all, okay. 
and we're just going to loop some images and then tools auto select star and we'll see what this one's like So it's saturated, so I'm going to click on tools and auto select another star uh, and we'll go with that one. So we can click on begin guiding and now we can go to APT and we've got an imaging plan of 5 minutes, uh, ISO 800, pause of 10 seconds and a count of 1000. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's just have a look at the uh, guiding. Yeah, that looks all right. So now we can click start and we are imaging. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial on uh, point and craft and how to do it when you're out in the field or, you know, the field, <laughs> uh, out in your garden or your backyard or uh, your deep sky site, uh, wherever that may be. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you could learn something from it. Um, certainly makes life a bit easier, I think. But, um, you know, that's not to uh, dismiss the hand controller. Um, there's obviously times where, you know, it's uh, more convenient um, or it's uh, only possible to do a, uh, you know, a star alignment or find targets with the hand controller. Uh, you know, if you're going on holiday, or if you've uh, not got your computer with you. So um, yeah, anyway, I thought uh, we've been talking about the Heart Nebula quite a bit. So um, over the last uh, tutorial and this tutorial, so I thought I'd uh, just read a little bit about it. And uh, I've got this fantastic book, which is uh, Ruben Kier's uh, The 100 Best Astrophotography Targets. Uh, so yeah, it's really good this is. and. It's basically got um, each month of the year and uh, what to image within that month. So obviously you don't need to stick to it. Um, the Heart Nebula is actually in December in this book, but I'm imaging it in September. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's on 295 or thereabouts. Yeah, here we are. So the Heart Nebula, um, is at a distance of 6,000 light years. Uh, it's a cloud of energized hydrogen gas uh, glowing in a red heart shape. And uh, yeah, in brackets it says, with right heart failure for you cardiologists out there. Hmm. Uh, a cluster of young stars emerges at its center and a neighboring cloud of gas, the Sol Nebula, is part of the same glowing cloud of hydrogen. So yeah, 6,000 light years away and uh, it's in the constellation Cassiopeia. Uh, that's the Heart Nebula. Um, and I hope you enjoy the uh, image at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Clear skies.